Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Empire 15 inch chain wrench. Uh, these are still around, although online they seem to be a little bit hard to find, although they had a few of these at one of my construction supplies still on the shelf. There's certainly plenty of other styles. I call these the kind of bi directional flat jaw style chain wrench. I like the ones that have more of a curved jaw because they get more of a bite. These tend to seem, in my opinion, uh, work much better on larger diameters as opposed to smaller diameters. And, of course, hex fasteners, oil filters, uh, various other things that, besides normal pipes. And what I mean by that is we have uh, some uh, three-quarter inch, and that would be the di inner diameter. The outside diameter of this pipe is about one inch. And if we get the chain on there, what we can see is I just can't get any grip on this. I should be able to easily lock this up with my hand. The idea is as you're pushing down the handle, it's yanking the chain, drawing the pipe tighter into the handle. So what you're essentially doing is just pressing down really hard with the teeth and the chain is uh, essentially assisting with that. And it just doesn't seem to work. Even if I do it uh, either direction, it just doesn't really want to cooperate on large or on, excuse me, on smaller diameters, which has always been the disappointment. I think part of the issue is that the jaws just aren't quite uh, sharp enough on these. And uh, I always find that odd. And that's why I haven't liked this design because most types of pipe wrenches really do work on small, large pipes just as well. And they really do get a pretty good grip and, you know, the teeth really bite in. But this Empire and this flat jaw style, these are sold by Williams and Snap-on and quite a few other companies. Some of these are huge with like, you know, 24-inch handles. But it all ends up being the same where I just have the issues with it not getting much grip. On larger diameters, however, I will get around to reviewing and doing a, a little teardown of uh, <laughs> this drill <laughs> at some point. Instead, I'll just use it as an example fodder in a variety of videos. So I've got this rail stuck in the open position. This is a pretty big uh, three-quarter inch drill, so I should be able to get this on here, get it on just like that, and be able to break, the, break it free. And it opens just fine. One of the things I should say, I should make a nice comment about this, and one of those comments about uh, chain wrenches in general, pipe wrenches also are ratcheting. Chain wrenches tend to, uh, if you're especially if you're in a vertical position, tend to ratchet really well. So if I want to get this threaded in and it's really tough, you can just do this. Whoop! Of course, it all jammed up on me right there, which is always exciting. You do want to try to get the chain just absolutely in the tightest position possible. Come on now. Now it's not wanting to cooperate with me. You got to kind of get used to the mat, uh, the mechanics of it, but you can use it <laughs> ratcheting. And once you do, it ends up working pretty well. I don't know how well it will work on the smoother portion. This is hardened steel. No, about the same effect. On this smoother hardened steel where it doesn't have anything to grab onto, uh, this thing is just skating. And even though it is hardened steel, uh, most pipe wrenches, they'll give it enough downward force for you to actually be able to turn something that's pretty smooth. Sometimes if you adjust the chain just one notch looser, you can get a little bit more force. But once again, this has always frustrated me about this style. And I had one a long time ago and got rid of it just because I thought, well, it just doesn't ever work for anything. But I picked up this one used uh, and figured I'd make a video about it just to basically say in my experience, there's some situations where this flat jaw style seems to work, but it just most times... Um, it just doesn't. It just doesn't work. And I can see why Empire probably has stopped uh, selling these things just because of how annoying that is. Here we have a handle that's already pretty roughed up and has a lot of grip. And now, now it got a, right there where there's like already a pretty big groove. I was able to get some traction. But right along here, you can see right at that top part I can. But there we go. That's pretty much what it takes. It's pretty much hit and miss, but you can see where it really wants to instead just skid. Get that off of there. And here's a good example of that is where it just really wants to skid, even on something that's pretty optimal, like an already roughed up kind of oblong pipe. But man, as soon as you get anything that's actually like pretty nice and smooth, or if it's is any degree of hardness on it, 
this wrench just really wants to slip and it just seems to be this design that these jaws just don't have the right type of curve it really seems chain wrenches that work better have uh, a really one they aren't bi-directional like this they're not trying to actually make the one wrench be able to both go clockwise and counterclockwise they seem to be optimized for one direction and you just have to simply flip the wrench over to go the opposite direction and because of that they have like a really nice curve which means that it, uh, the cam action works better and it's able to get more pressure and actually more bite. So anyway, uh, that and if anybody's wondering, that's why these little metal rings that they come with is one to hang them with, but two just to kind of keep the chain uh, more or less situated. That's the point of these little metal rings. So anyway, that's my little review of this Empire uh, pipe uh, chain pipe wrench. Uh, I do think it's amusing. <laughs> I don't think this is made in the United States, even this older one. Uh, well, I should point it this way. No hammering, <laughs> no extensions, uh, because you can easily, you'll end up, what you'll do is you'll shear the pin right here and the chain will pop off. Um, anyway, not my favorite chain wrenches. I have this one, so now I'll keep it in my collection, unlike the last one, which I got rid of. But generally speaking, I'd find a different design that does not have this dual mode jaw and find one that has a nice curve. Uh, that's single direction. You'll have a lot better luck with these chain wrenches. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.